Well, hey everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Just got back from Pensacola a little while ago. Um, it was good to get away. Went way too fast. Uh, would have been nice to be gone a little bit longer, but then again, I don't have that much to do down there, so I'd have probably just been wandering around. So, uh, it's all good, all good. Back to the gym tomorrow. Um, get things going next week. Got a busy week, busy, busy week. Got to get things done. Uh, coming up is only two months until I get back down to Costa Rica, hopefully, God willing, and uh, back to some fruit and some sunshine. Anyhow, we're going to start the week out, and I'm going to talk about how a raw food diet is not enough uh, by itself on its own. Um, I do videos every day, so if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you would take the time and hit that subscribe button now. Then click on that little bell and check send notifications so you'll stay subscribed to the channel. Um, had a really good uh, time yesterday. Um, I met a uh, new vegan friend for lunch. And uh, we ended up, he had time to just chill out. And um, we sat around, gosh, we met about 11. And it must have been at least 3 o'clock when I dropped him back off at his car. We even went and checked out another, another little place and had a, I had a smoothie. But it was just real good. And we got some real good conversation. As you guys know, I've told you before, I'm kind of starved for conversation as I just don't really know anybody in this area. And um, about the only place I go is I go to the gym every day and I go out to buy food and that's it. Um, and then the only person I'm in contact with is my mom, who I get along with very well. But it was nice to have some real conversation. It was nice to have some conversation with a vegan. Now he had watched my channel. He's watched my channel for a while and knew a lot of my videos. So um, he had a lot of he had a lot of reference on where I was coming from on things. So we just talked a lot and talked over various subjects on the vegan lifestyle and whatever. And he asked me some questions and he asked me some good questions that kind of got me thinking about things too. You know, just different things about uh, like what do I, where do I see myself going and blah 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 and questions evolved into discussions and it just kind of out of that um, evolved this talk for today because I was thinking, um, you know, he said, so what are you, where, where would you like to see the channel go? Where would you like to go? And I said, well, honestly, I'd like to talk more about things that are not food um, because I, as I've said many times on this channel, I don't think the food is the end game. I don't think the food is the end all be all. Um, there's just too much of that out there, and I see so many people obsessing over an extreme version of everything, and they've just got to be just this and just like that. And quite honestly, I think that fanaticism, um, just that diet is everything, is not the healthiest mentality. It's not the healthiest approach, and it's most certainly not a, a, a very well-rounded approach. Um, if we look at health, you know, like if we look at health as a certain, like a pie, like a pie chart, um, there's a lot more pieces in there than the raw food diet. Now, I, once again, I'm not throwing the raw food diet under the bus and I'm not about, I'm not making any, you know, big announcements like I don't, no more raw food diet, just the opposite. In fact, you know, I'm, after having been in the States for a while and I've eat, I eat more cooked food when I'm up here, I'm ready to get back, I'm ready to get back home and just have basically all I want to eat is fruit when I get back. Um, but for me, the food part of it was a catalyst. It, it started, you know, it, it, it lifted the fog. It started kind of, you know, my body kind of started cleaning itself out. And it kind of led me to, my, led my brain, it let my brain be open to more things, whereas before it was just foggy and it was all shut off. Um, but it, it's never been all about the food for me. And you know, if, if you've watched me for any amount of time, you've heard me talk about this. And I just don't think um, you can uh, rely on one component um, to, you know, when you're talking about your health. Uh, so a lifestyle. And oh, and I know what else he was asking me about. He said, so raw tropical living. And I said, well, what I want raw tropical living to be is a lifestyle brand. I don't ever want to be described as a raw, well, nobody is going to make the mistake and say raw food educator because I don't do the specifics and whatever, so I'm not an educator. But I like to be thought of as, you know, life, a, a holistic, healthy lifestyle more so than a raw food person. That's just such a narrow little niche. And 
personally, like I say, I can tell from having been up here now for six months, I know for a fact that that's not all there is to it because I'm not running at 100% capacity. Um, one of the things I've talked, I used to talk about a lot um, when I was back in Costa Rica, and man, I flash back to about this time last year and about this time two years ago because down in Costa Rica, this is the summer, and especially at the beach. Now, my, when I, that year where I was in the mountains, the weather was a little different, but when I was at the beach, um, January on through, say, April, is just blue skies and sun all the time. I mean, you basically, if you get um, a rain shower, it's, it's a stray rain shower and it's very odd. Um, the vitamin D, the vitamin D is so important. And then, and when I, sometimes like when I see some of these people getting a little sanctimonious and even wanting to get sanctimonious with me about their diet, I kind of look where they are and I'm like, yo, bro, you ever even gotten any real vitamin D for an extended period of time? Some of these people that are like the elite of the elite on this raw food lifestyle, they've never even been plugged into real vitamin D for an extended period of time. Let me tell you something, if you don't believe me, you don't argue with me. Go somewhere and try it out for yourself. Go somewhere where you can get vitamin D every day. You can take your do the dose you need every day of straight vitamin D every day for three months. Charge yourself up for three months and tell me if it's the same, you know, everywhere. Um, other things. Sorry guys, heat's about to come on so there'll be a little bit of noise there. Another thing that I've talked about in the past that I believe is very, very important is the air we breathe, air quality, you know, and just being outdoors more than anything. Now, when I was in the mountains, I had pristine air quality. Even at the beach, when I lived in Playa Jaco on the Central Pacific Coast, good air quality there. I'm on the ocean there, so you had that, you know, that sea smell in the air all the time, the salt. Um, but the biggest thing was, is when I was living down there, and I noticed this here in the States, and I think this happens in a lot of areas, especially in the winter, people up here spend a way much more time inside than we did in the, back in Costa Rica. Like when I was in Costa Rica, my door was open. If I wasn't physically outside, my door was open a good bit of the time. I had windows open, but I was out. I was out in the fresh air all day very 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 important the air we're breathing and to be outside a lot connecting um connecting with nature but just mostly like being out and getting fresh air and not just stale pumped you know pumped in air through this heating and air stuff uh something else whether you do you know i talk a lot about my meditation practice now but this is just kind of more of a formal, actually I make a point to sit down and do mindfulness meditation practice. Now, I've been in some way or another practicing mindfulness um, ever since I came to this lifestyle, ever since I changed my life around. Um, you know, just being aware. But having practices that bring you calm, having practices that bring you peace and balance in your life. Too many people are emotional basket cases, and when we don't have an effective tool for dealing with stress, you're not running at full capacity there either. Um, you need something, something that you, you know, that settles you, that brings you calm, that helps you, you know, just keep that chill demeanor to you. Um, another very, very important one is, uh, is moving our bodies. Some don't like to call it exercise. So many people are into semantics these days. It's like, well, I don't like exercise. I like to just move my body. I don't care what you call it, do whatever. Just move your body. Me, I move my body and I exercise. I like to go and do formal stuff. I like to go to the gym. But you do whatever, just get out and move. But see right there, we've already identified the food just being one of say one, you got the food, you've got the uh, vitamin D, you've got the air, you've got the whatever, the spiritual, the stress relief practice, whatever that gives you a little bit of emotional balance. And then you got the movement. Now there's, a, there's other things that we can have in our life. Oh, another one that's very important is, even though I'm kind of a loner, is you know other people, relationships, being around people, having good vibrations, interact, good interactions with other people. But you see what I'm getting at here? There's just more to it. You can't be a one trick pony. If you're just gonna sit around and you know, okay, maybe you, okay, I'll finish off with this. The food part, it takes people a little while to get it down. Maybe for a certain period of time, you've got to concentrate a little bit on the food, but I see people that have just been 
absolutely obsessed with nothing but food, the raw food diet, being raw vegan for, you know, I've been seeing them for two, three, four years, and that's all they're doing, all they're talking about. All it is is raw food diet this, raw food diet that, blah, 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 blah. And they don't appear healthy to me. That's just my perception of it, or what I, you know, kind of how I define healthy. Um, so, what can you take from this? If, if you're just, you know, if you're obsessing or focusing on food all the time, realize that there are other, are other components that are very necessary and very important for us to live a healthy, rounded, balanced lifestyle. Anyhow, just my two cents worth. Hope you guys enjoyed this talk today. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you again tomorrow. Hope you guys all have a good week. Peace.